How to Sink a Giant Aircraft Carrier Imagine this. A 13 billion or floating fortress does. The pride of a nation's naval power reduced to a sinking hulk in a matter of minutes. It sounds like the plot of a Hollywood blockbuster, but the reality is that sinking a giant aircraft carrier, while incredibly difficult, is not impossible. These behemoths of the sea, often referred to as unsinkable, are designed to withstand immense damage. Yet history and modern warfare tactics suggest that even the most advanced carriers have vulnerabilities. The idea of sinking such a vessel is not just a theoretical exercise. It's a scenario that military strategists around the world have studied extensively. The question is not if it can be done, but how. To understand how an aircraft carrier can be sunk, we must first examine its design and capabilities. Modern aircraft carriers, such as the U.S. Navy's Nimitz class or the newer Ford class, are engineering marvels. They are over 1,000 feet long, displace more than 100,000 tons, and can carry up to 90 aircraft. Their nuclear reactors allow them to operate for decades without refueling, and their advanced radar and missile defense systems make them formidable opponents. However, their size and complexity also make them prime targets. The key to sinking a carrier lies in exploiting its vulnerabilities, its reliance on a protective fleet, its limited maneuverability, and the sheer difficulty of defending against a coordinated multi-axis attack. One of the most effective ways to sink an aircraft carrier is through the use of anti-ship missiles. Modern missiles, such as China's DF-21D Carrier Killer, are specifically designed to target large ships. These missiles travel at hypersonic speeds, making them difficult to intercept, and are equipped with advanced guidance systems that can adjust their trajectory mid-flight to evade countermeasures. A salvo of such missiles, launched from land, air, or sea, could overwhelm a carrier's defenses and deliver a fatal blow. Another method is the use of submarines. Stealthy and difficult to detect, submarines can get close to a carrier and launch torpedoes or cruise missiles. The sinking of the Argentine cruiser General Belgrano by a British submarine during the Falklands War is a stark reminder of the threat submarines pose to surface ships. But sinking a carrier is not just about firepower, it's also about strategy. A carrier is rarely alone. It is typically surrounded by a protective screen of destroyers, cruisers, and submarines, collectively known as a carrier strike group. To sink a carrier, an adversary would need to neutralize or bypass this protective screen. This could be achieved through a combination of electronic warfare, cyber attacks, and decoy tactics. For example, jamming the carrier's radar or hacking its communication systems could create confusion and leave it vulnerable to attack. Additionally, using drones or decoy missiles to draw fire away from the main attack could increase the chances of success. Preventing the sinking of an aircraft carrier requires a multi-layered approach. The first line of defense is the carrier strike group itself. Destroyers and cruisers equipped with advanced radar and missile defense systems, such as the Aegis Combat System, are tasked with intercepting incoming threats. Submarines provide an additional layer of protection by hunting enemy subs and ships. The carrier's own aircraft, including fighter jets and early warning planes, play a crucial role in detecting and neutralizing threats before they get too close. Another critical aspect of defense is intelligence and surveillance. Knowing where potential threats are and what they are capable of allows a carrier strike group to avoid dangerous situations or prepare for them in advance. Satellites, drones, and reconnaissance aircraft provide real-time information about enemy movements, while cyber defenses protect against electronic and cyber attacks. Training and readiness are also essential. The crew of a carrier and its strike group must be prepared to respond quickly and effectively to any threat, whether it's a missile, a submarine, or a cyber attack. Despite these defenses, the possibility of sinking a carrier cannot be entirely ruled out. As technology advances, so do the methods of attack. Hypersonic missiles, autonomous drones, and cyber weapons are just a few of the emerging threats that could challenge even the most advanced defenses. This is why navies around the world are constantly innovating, developing new technologies and tactics to stay ahead of potential adversaries. In conclusion, while sinking a giant aircraft carrier is an incredibly difficult task, it is not impossible. The combination of advanced weaponry, 
strategic planning, and exploiting vulnerabilities could, in theory, bring down one of these floating fortresses. However, the same factors that make carriers vulnerable also make them resilient. Their ability to project power, defend themselves, and adapt to new threats ensures that they remain a cornerstone of modern naval warfare. The question of how to sink a carrier is not just a military challenge, it's a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of warfare and the constant arms race between offense and defense. As nations invest in new technologies and strategies, the balance of power at sea continues to shift, making the study of aircraft carriers and their vulnerabilities a critical area of focus for military analysts and strategists. The historical context of naval warfare provides valuable insights into the challenges of sinking an aircraft carrier. During World War II, the sinking of the Japanese aircraft carrier Yamamoto at the Battle of Midway marked a turning point in naval strategy. It demonstrated that even the most formidable vessels could be defeated through intelligence, strategy, and coordinated attacks. The lessons learned from such engagements continue to inform modern naval tactics. For instance, the use of carrier-based aircraft to strike enemy ships has become a standard practice, showcasing the importance of air superiority in naval operations. Moreover, the psychological aspect of targeting an aircraft carrier cannot be overlooked. The mere threat of an attack on a carrier can have significant strategic implications. It can deter adversaries from engaging in aggressive actions, as the loss of a carrier would not only be a military setback, but also a blow to national pride and morale. This psychological warfare plays a crucial role in shaping the decisions of military leaders and policymakers. In the realm of modern warfare, the integration of artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning is revolutionizing naval operations. These technologies can enhance threat detection, improve decision-making processes, and optimize the deployment of resources. For example, AI algorithms can analyze vast amounts of data from various sources, identifying patterns and predicting potential threats to a carrier strike group. This proactive approach to defense could significantly reduce the likelihood of a successful attack on a carrier. Furthermore, the development of unmanned systems, including drones and autonomous underwater vehicles, is changing the landscape of naval warfare. These systems can be deployed for reconnaissance, surveillance, and even offensive operations, providing an additional layer of complexity to the defense of aircraft carriers. The ability to launch swarms of drones to distract or overwhelm enemy defenses could be a game changer in future conflicts. As we consider the future of aircraft carriers and their vulnerabilities, it is essential to recognize the role of international relations and diplomacy. The presence of a carrier strike group in a region can serve as a powerful deterrent, signaling a nation's commitment to its allies and its readiness to respond to threats. However, the potential for miscalculation or escalation remains a concern. The delicate balance of power in international waters requires careful navigation to avoid conflicts that could lead to catastrophic consequences. In summary, while the prospect of sinking a giant aircraft carrier is fraught with challenges, it remains a topic of significant interest for military strategists and analysts. The interplay between offensive capabilities, defensive measures, and the psychological dimensions of naval warfare creates a complex landscape that is constantly evolving. As technology advances and new threats emerge, the study of aircraft carriers and their vulnerabilities will continue to be a critical area of focus for those seeking to understand the future of naval power. Ultimately, the question of how to sink a giant aircraft carrier serves as a reminder of the intricate dance of power, strategy, and technology that defines modern warfare. It challenges us to think critically about the nature of conflict and the measures we must take to protect our assets while remaining vigilant against potential threats. As we look to the future, the lessons learned from past engagements and the innovations of today will shape the naval battles of tomorrow, ensuring that the legacy of aircraft carriers endures in the annals of military history. In conclusion, the narrative surrounding the sinking of an aircraft carrier is not merely about the act itself, but encompasses a broader discussion on the evolution of naval warfare, the importance of strategic planning, and the continuous adaptation to emerging threats. As nations strive to maintain their naval superiority, the quest for knowledge and understanding of these colossal vessels will remain a vital pursuit in the ever-changing landscape of global security.